Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned into our UAG disbursement update. This lingering of uh, this disbursement has really caused a lot of saga and it's causing a lot of things, it's causing a lot of war, it's causing a lot of uh, grievances, it's causing a lot of hula baloo in this our country. Uh, the best bit is to just dispose this money. People are, are saying can this, can that, and people are trying to exonerate him. This video, just listen to it and see the the opinion on what they are talking about, can and the disbursement. We'll see at the other side. We'll see at the end of this video to throw more light on what we have heard. See at the other end. Good morning, fellow Nigerians. Good morning, fellow subscribers of Euros Brands in Nigeria. Good morning, Nigerians, resident in Nigeria and in diaspora, who are expecting the disbursement of UAAG grants. I greet you all. <clears> Today <throat> is the 29th day of March, year 2024, and I come your way today to say a few things. As you all know, I don't speak anyhow, not talk anyhow. I speak with authority. I am Akim Shola Josiah, AGA Mr. <laughs> AKA Mr. Shalom. I speak with authority before I come up. Either human authority from my superiors or divine authority from God himself. This morning, today, Friday 29th, March 2024, I'm speaking to you with divine authority. And I will appreciate it if you can listen to me oh, for the few things I want to say. I have seven things itemized there. I will just take them one after the other. All right. Today is the 29th of March, year 2024. Disbursement Alpha. Disbursement of UAG grant Alpha have we gone. It is good we sit down and do not ask ourselves some questions. Disbursement Alpha. It is no longer <clears throat> uh, news that there is part of as to who should disburse and who should not disburse. We have heard that some people brag in private to some people. And Poskin cannot disburse this money. Never, he cannot disburse this money. It's not possible. Some people have bragged in private to some people to that extent. And up to now, we all see that it is being dragged forth and back, whether Poskin should disburse, whether it's not disbursed, and so on and so forth. So there is power tussle as to who should dispose this UAG no, no money or, or grant. Now, that is a rhetoric question. I will ask another question. Must Apostle Ken dispose this money? The answer is no. Must Apostle Ken disburse this money? No. Why? Because it's not the only Nigerian that can disburse this money. Any Nigerian approved by God and by the you know and by the government can disburse. So it's not the most that it's only him that can or that you no know, I mean that can dispose. Anybody approved by God and by the government can disburse this money. Again, should Apostle Ken disburse this money? My answer is yes. Apostle Ken should be the one to disburse this money. Why? In my little wisdom and little knowledge that God has granted me, and from all evidences, it is Apostle Ken, Umakama, that have been destined by God, approved by God and by the Nigerian government until now to disburse this money. 
except if some people use their power to change it now. Before now, it's Apostle Kim Wakama that have been destined and approved by God and approved by man, by the by, by Nigerian government until now to dispose this one. Based on that, in my opinion, as a little servant of God, I think Apostle Kim should be allowed to dispose. That's on that. A word for Apostle Ken. Apostle Ken, this is a word from God from God to you. Do not struggle with your destiny. Man doesn't struggle with destiny. Do not struggle with your destiny. You are an elder. You are a servant of God. You are a prophet of God. You know I mean, you come in with God. Do not struggle with, you know, with your destiny. You don't have to struggle with your destiny. Cooperate to the extent possible. All right. Whether they allow you to disburse or not, heavens have already taken their record. That's what God asked me to tell you. Whether humans, in their ego or whatever, allows you to disburse or not, heavens have already taken their record and have already taken their position. If there's anything you need to release to them, release. And see the consequences. Nobody fights God and goes God free. So don't struggle with your destiny. That's a word to Apostle Ken Mwakama. A word. Or to him that loves to insult elders. There's a young man that always come up to insult elders. Or to insult a particular elder. I don't want to mention him. Because I'm not against him, but I'm against his act of insulting elders. Akim Shola Josiah is a servant of God. A Christian prophet of many years. He was also trained in Islamic religion and other religions. I've told us before. God started to train me as a servant at age 11. My mother suffered because of God's call upon my life. So I've been working with God, with this God, not yesterday. Remove 11 years from my age and know how long I've been working with God. God has trained us, I told us, in the Christian way, in the Islamic way, and other ways. So when this humble servant is talking about God, starting from diverse background of the knowledge of God. From my knowledge of God, insult of elders is not permitted by any religion. I repeat, insult of, el of elders, no religion permits you to insult an elder for whatever reason. You don't insult your leader. You don't insult your elder. It has spiritual and physical repercussions. So you that feel you can come up any time to insult an elder, maybe because it's not of your region, it's not of your tribe or whatever. Remember the law. Whatever a man sows, that he shall reap. Okay? Whatever a man sows, that he shall reap. You shall reap what you sow. I shall reap what I sow. Everybody shall reap what he sows. You don't have to insult either. Because you want to you want to say something. The knowledge of people in Islam taught us there are other ways of correcting somebody without being insultive. We follow Islam to, to an extent. There are ways of correcting somebody without insulting the person. So don't come up and insult people and feel you are, you know, you are all in all. You know but little when it comes to God. I won't talk more. Then two, maybe because you, you feel you, you want to say the truth. Let me tell you one thing. 
not every truth that you know you can speak. That's one thing you should know. Not every truth that you know you can speak. There are some truths you know you keep them secret. You keep you know, you, you, know, you keep silent until the appointed time. Whoever feels you can speak the truth at any point in time is not wise. The Bible says there is time to speak and there is time to keep silent. God is wiser than all of us. So you don't speak because you want to speak the truth at all times. There are times to speak, there are times to keep silent. That's a word for that. So the Bible says, Abbasian comes up and the nice go, you know, I mean, sorry, and the nice government NGU. Whereas it's in government, I mean, it's in government NGU. Even this issue of government NGU, Abbasian have come up to, you know, I mean, to throw light on it. He said during the last regime that they told him, look, oh, you want to do this was this morning? We have our own NGOs too. And he said, okay, sir, you can bring in your NGOs. Okay, if it were you, will you say no? Those people in government, don't, don't, don't they have companies? Don't they have NGOs? Okay, you want them to approve your, your I mean, to approve the money for you and leave them. Are they not Nigerians? If it were you, will you say no? So he said, okay, sir, you can bring in your, your NGOs, but I also have some friends that want to come in. Simple. He has not denied it. Or do you expect senators, honorables, excellencies to be treated like common Nigerians? Hapa. Okay, like now, where we came for verification, if you came, you would you would have known how how crowded the place was, even though it was well organized. Yes, everybody, no, everyone attested to the organization at the verification center. But now, as organized as it was, that's why the crowd, you expect excellencies, senators, honorables to come and line up with other Nigerians. Then where are they, your leaders? Go to the bank, order the bank here. And go to the queue. How many senators do, do, you, do, do you see on the queue? How many honorables? How many excellencies do you see on the queue? In any exercise, these leaders perform every important exercise that the common man should perform. But what? But what? They are given VIP considerations. So why, why are you, you people making too much noise about government NGO, this and that? There's nothing hidden. Even though it is not meant to be publicized. This business is not government business, it's non-government organization business. So ordinarily, government shouldn't be officially involved. Although government cannot be exempted from it because the money is with the government. It is, it is the last regime that created the Ministry of, of Humanitarian Affairs. That's what now has made the government to be officially involved to an extent. Even then, a, it is only to an extent. They cannot be involved, involved openly. That's why the issue of government you cannot be discussed openly. And this is a part of us who are trying to use criminal laws again, as if we committed an offence. Some people say, hey, he received money from us, and he came up and said, he didn't, he didn't re receive any money. What do you expect him to say, for God's sake? Are you not a Nigerian? Let me tell you, tell you one thing. For us to get to this level, don't you think money, money was involved? Or do you process anything in Nigeria with, uh, with free hand? There's a saying, there's no free lunch. Even in free town. All over the world. There's no free lunch. You must pay certain things to get to a certain level. Now, to, to pass through some processes, some things need to be done. Now, in, she now came to the partners. Partners, so we need to so, so something for something, you know, you now said they have committed an offense. 
Okay, because you came up and said he didn't collect money except loan. You now you now start to write against him. He collected this and that. What kind of thing is that? Let me tell you one thing. As a leader, there are things you do in secret, which you must not come out to say in the open. If you don't know, let me let you know. As a leader, because many people are are trying to nail this man here and there. I am a Yoruba man. He's an Yoruba man. He's not paying me. I'm not on his payroll. Go and find out. It is God that is sustaining me here. It's God. But as a leader, the truth must be said. Go to any ministry and apply for a contract and, and process it with empty hand and see whether the contract will come out. You spend money the contract has not come out. Not on top of, well, what you say, you won't spend money. This is, this is normal thing everywhere. Now, when you not spend money, we do not, we do not announce, hey, I spend money to who? Oh, okay, I shall not try to nail him now. You collect money, it is nice. As a leader, there are things you don't say in public. I'll give you an example. Recently, some Nigerian uh, kids, students, were kidnapped by by the bandits. By the bandits, the bandits were demanding for huge amount of money from the government. It's recent, to it's in the news. Before we know it, we heard that the children, I mean, the children have all been released by the bandits. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. You should tongue to cancel it. All right. So people now went on news and were and were estimating. Maybe the government must have paid the paid the paid the ransom. Government came up online and said no dime was paid for the release. Now ask me. No dime was paid for you know for the release. So what do you expect? When some of you are nailing this man, you know, for one or two reasons, I said, I just said, you know, I mean, I mean, I just reason. It's, you know, it's like many people don't know what it means to be a leader in Nigeria and and anywhere in the world. A leader, you know, covers many things. A leader passes through many things. A leader endures many things. This movement, how far have we gone? As I've said, anybody can dispose. But the person must have God's approval and the government approval. But who have been approved by God and by man before now? We all know. Suppose came one come But should, should some people use, use their power to change it? Suppose again, struggle with them no more. That's what God says. Let the money be disposed. Whatever a man says, that he shall live. The masses are suffering. Let this movement take place. There are powers that control the heaven and earth. There are powers that will pay everybody his due recompense. This is what I have to say. My people, thank you for listening to this VN to this particular time listening to it within me i was kind of boiling i was annoyed trying to exonerate ken saying that he shouldn't have said that he collected money where he did not collect when he collected money that if you collect money you should say it have you seen the kind of people we have and the kind of people that claims to be leaders you are extorting your people and you are saying that you are justified for extorting your people that you shouldn't say it you know, Ken took money from people. He promised people that they will be giving the grant. He promised people dates. He made a lot of mistakes. He duped people. Because why telling people, go and sleep before 24 hours, before you get home, you receive this money and come back and tell them that the money is no longer with you. Anyway, let me stop there. See you at the next update. Subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.